Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your July reading. This is general and love. And I apologize, I was really hoping to get these readings out sooner, but it's been a very crazy, hectic month. So let me just focus here. And the most important message is Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, July 1st through the 31st, Sagittarius. Okay. All right. The Ten of Cups. The Five of Cups in reverse, although I do like that better in reverse and those fives. The Seven of Cups. Huh. Okay. The Emperor. Oh my gosh, and the Cherry in reverse. The chariot came up in reverse for Pisces. All right, I want to see what's underneath. The seven, seven of wands. Okay. I haven't been looking underneath all the time, uh, but I was led to. So I'm going to put this out, and then I want to make sure that you can see everything. led to add a, oh my gosh, I just realized something. We have three sevens. Wow. I mean, seven, seven, seven to me is usually good luck. Um, all right. Well, I was being led to add these. So seven times three is 21 plus four, uh, 25, 30, 40. So, that's very interesting. Okay. The emperor is the number four, and everything adds up to a four, reduces down to a four. And this speaks to the home. This speaks to your foundation, to your structure, to stability, to security, uh, rebuilding. Uh, I want to point out the what I think some signs that may be Im of importance. I feel that the sign, um, for me, for some reason, I see the chariot as Sagittarius, which could definitely be you um, or the energy of you. And I also see it as Cancer. Um, that's just me. Aries may be also of importance. It could also be a fire sign, Leo. Um, uh, I'm sorry, Aries, Leo, and said, well, that's, yeah, you, obviously. The other thing is with this many cups, and I'm picking up cancer here. Uh, the Pisces and Scorpio may also be of importance. So I'm getting those. Um all right. What's interesting is that, I mean, here we've got this beautiful card of the Ten of Cups, where it seems like, you know, everyone's happy, things are in alignment, there's lots of love, um, you know, like it's the end of the cycle, you know, you've attained a lot. This is kind of like, you know, the, um, the pot at the end of the rainbow, you've got your home, you've got your land, water, there's the, the four elements, earth, fire, air, water, and lots of, you know, celebration. This can also represent like a homecoming, coming home, um, but sometimes I also see it as you know, it could be family get-togethers. There may be some parties and celebrations going on. 
which makes sense too, because I'm now I just heard fireworks. So fireworks, especially you know in the U.S., the Fourth of July. So there's um, there's celebrations that I feel will be going on in July. But what's kind of interesting now? This also to me, uh, I'm on getting Hawaii. I'm getting the word aloha. So it's like hello, goodbye. So somebody may be moving. Now, I'm getting a play on the words movement because they may be, they have moved on. This may even be with this card here, the Five of Cups. Um, I'll show it to you here. They have moved on. They am, I'm hearing gone home in a spiritual sense. So this may be bereavement or loss of somebody um, and in July, you're still kind of getting over this loss or this ending or this breakup because this 10 uh, is the end of a cycle. So from the 10, we go to a 1. It reduces to a 1, which represents new beginnings. And, of course, the emperor, the number 4, also represents new beginnings. So... You know, so the moving on may be that you're moving away from someone or from family or families moving. I don't know. I get something about that there could even be something like there's a, a division. Um, I'm getting something is off balance. And this may have to do, um, obviously with a patriarch figure, so this could be, it could also be the matriarch or female, but it is the emperor, not the empress. This may also be like a father figure, grandfather figure, um, uncle, brother. I just feel like, you know, it could also be husband, something like that. I just... It's like there's happiness on the outside, but I feel like there's sadness or something kind of going within. There's some kind of confusion. Uh, so I feel like there's, you know, happiness and then there's sadness and maybe there's a need to gain clarity um, sometimes, you know, I look at this card as there's an access, so, or an excess is what I wanted to say. Excess, like too much of something. Uh, there may be some things out of balance where, like, somebody is feeling really great, and then all of a sudden they aren't doing great. Now, this could be because, you know, with water, it kind of ebbs and flows. So, you know, the tide goes out, it comes in. So your emotions, you may be dealing with something in July that is kind of heartbreaking or dealing with some kind of disappointment or, um, you know, things didn't come quite to fruition the way you thought. This also could be that, you know, you may have sold a home, but maybe you didn't get quite what you wanted in selling the home. But you needed to move anyway. Like, it didn't, you know, you're disappointed. Or you thought you were going to sell this house or this land or a building or, and it, it didn't come through. And, um, maybe there's a lot of confusion or I just feel like it's really important to, see things, you know, it's great to, to dream and fantasize and have um, our goals. Just don't, like, get too much, like, building castles in the sky. Or I feel like, you know, I'm getting the words illusion. So I, I kind of feel like maybe somebody bought a house that they really thought was like their dream and it's turning out not to be quite their dream or, and, and maybe I'm hearing like there may be some ghosts or some spirits or something that may be kind of 
haunting the land or the house itself. And it may go back to an older gentleman because I'm getting something about like the Civil War or something about a war, like battles. Maybe uh, there's something in the land that you live on or, you know, that is uh, affecting you in some way. The energy, because I, but I am getting something about uh, past battles or past wars. And it may be with an older gen gentleman. I'm hearing the name John Edward and Edward, John, John Edward and Richard. One of those names may be of significance. And then I heard John Edward, but he's a medium. That's, and I don't know why he would come up uh, here, but maybe it's just because I said John and then Edward. Um, yeah, because his last name's Edwards, I think. All right. Uh, but I feel like somebody is also possibly struggling with moving. Now, this may be this, this gentleman where somebody is, um, okay, I'm getting something with uh, somebody is overcompensating or over medicating themselves. They may be in pain. Uh, I'm also picking up drinking and I think that there may be some, there's not clear thinking. I don't know if this is like amnesia, but there's definitely something's cloudy. Like someone's, in, I feel like emotionally, um, you may be feeling off base or you've got to sort something out. It may go back to this emperor. Now, this may also be representative of a boss, you know, or somebody that you're dealing with in the workplace. Somebody, and it could be somebody in a high position. But I'm getting like lack of movement, especially like, feel like somebody can't quite move. You know, the chariot for me often has to do with movement. It has to do with strength, with victory, with balance in the upright position. In reverse, I feel like somebody's thrown off course, thrown off balance. There may be um, lack of movement, like somebody can't move physically the way that they used to. Now, this may also be that somebody's wanting to move and or go, you know, travel and there's a delay in something. Like something gets delayed or put off. Let me just um, see something here. I'm getting something about... I also, okay, I'm getting something about like lawn care or wonder if somebody and, and also like, yeah, I got this. I think it was possibly for Capricorn. Is it Capricorn or Pisces? Maybe it was, it might have been Pisces where I think the chariot came out also where there's indecisiveness or... Um, like I feel like somebody had power and maybe their, their, their power or their rank or their abilities may not quite be what they used to be. Um, cause I'm getting like somebody is maybe somebody, okay, for example, this might be somebody that's elderly that maybe needs additional help. Um, that would be better off somewhere else. And this person doesn't want to be, I feel, I heard like tyrannical, like he does not want to be moved. <laughs> he just, he wants to be kind of left alone. Um, you know, like I can handle this, you know, but 
I don't think they, I think there's going to be some issues with that. And this, this may also go back to something with memory or amnesia. And I'm getting, uh, I, and I apologize if I said this, but I'm getting something with drinking, with alcohol. I wonder if there's something alcohol may be affecting or some kind of drug because I can see this as also, you know, sometimes like hallucinations. But I feel like that somebody, and it, this may not be you. This is somebody around you or possibly a friend or, you know, where it's, uh, I feel like they're, they're definitely struggling. There's a struggle going on here or struggle of power. But a str it could be a struggle with an addiction or something like that where they're, they are unable to make the decisions that they once were. And, yeah, so I'm just, I'm also a little concerned because I'm seeing this as also a vehicle. So definitely, um, you know, drinking, driving, you know, that stuff, or if you know, if you're at a party celebrating, somebody's had too much to drink, or, you know, drive them home, get them an Uber, whatever, you know, because um, I'm getting something about drinking and driving. Now, I'm also hearing this may have already happened. This may have happened, and somebody is breathing through this process in July. So this may have taken place for somebody. But I just get that there's a need to kind of go back to this structure, to this, you know, feeling um, like this is a solid foundation. This is a solid foundation to me. And so there may be Someone, now this could also represent a relationship with all these cups or love, you know, could be a friendship, could be relatives, but could also be a love relationship where your heartstrings may be pulled in a different direction or somebody around you, their heartstrings are being pulled in a different direction and it's affecting you or it's affecting the family. Somehow, and there's a decision to be made, and you may be struggling with the decision, or this other person may be struggling with it in making a decision. Um, I also feel like somebody is having a hard time finding, like, you know, a, like they're lacking direction. It may stem from childhood. Because often the four goes back, but um, you know, to the to, to childhood for me, the home. But I I just feel the need to restabilize, and that's what's going to help you get through this. That you have backup, like you have a foundation within you. You may not believe it or this person in your life may not believe it but I and maybe they're coming to you for help as the foundation the structure to help them to guide them um, but this is going to be key it's it's also kind of I, I feel like there's a need to possibly maintain boundaries I'm getting something about boundaries but also I feel that uh, that this person or an aspect of you may be able to help this person get through what they they are getting through to some degree. Um, and you may be a, you know, a, like a stable force for them. But I also feel that they have power within them that maybe they don't believe. 
somehow like the emotions may be getting, you know, it's, it's too involved, uh, emotionally may also be that somebody, uh, if it's not you is going through difficulties, uh, maybe someone's moved away, um, but they're going through difficulties or you're going through difficulties and you're compensating. You're not dealing with emotions because you don't want to deal with emotions. You know, you're just, you know, let's get back to the logical side. Let's get back to the structure. You know, let's, um, I don't even want to look at emotions or, you know, and somebody is doing something to kind of feed um, themselves so that they don't have to deal with the emotions. So, and it could be alcohol or something like that, some addiction, and maybe that's, you know, like I, every card has its positive and its negative, and you got to look at, um, <clears throat> I got to look at what's next to it, what I'm feeling, what I'm picking up, what the images that are coming to me. So, um, stability and, um, and structure, like having a routine or daily routine to keep yourself busy or to keep this person busy or, you know, it's getting back to the foundations is what I'm hearing is going to be very important and helpful for you. And, um, and so it's, and I feel like there's a weighing of options. There may be a, a decision. Um, maybe where there's this person that used to be the decision maker is no longer there and it's now up to you and you're kind of thrown off course here. You're not used to being in this role. You know, it could also be the opposite where you're, 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 you may be used to being in this role and somebody has come in and thrown you off course. So, you know, when reading for thousands of people, it's going to be different. But I do like the fact that we do have three sevens. I do feel that there's the, you know, the opportunity and this beautiful card here that something that, you know, is going to end so that something can be rebuilt and you can begin again. Because this is in my, what's going to help you. That's in the position this is in, restructuring. So it could also be a big organization that's restructuring. And maybe there's surprises and, you know, there's, um, you know, you may be having to do a lot more work in the workplace because they're, you know, uh, giving you more responsibilities because there's a whole reorganization. So, there's so many messages here. Um, remember, if this does not resonate, uh, watch your moon and a rising sign. I also am getting forgiveness. The word forgiveness is very important. And forgiving yourself, forgiving others. Um, that, 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 that word just came through to me. So... I feel like that's important. And I do like the five better in reverse. There are still other opportunities. They may not be the ones that you had thought, but there's still opportunities here. And I like the five better because I think by opening your mind and I'm looking at this now in a positive way and recreating, like use your imagination but use your imagination with, you know, like, you know, like, uh, don't get to the point where it's like grandiosity. Like, I, I mean, you may get there, but then I feel like you're going to be reining it in so it's a bit more structural or logical so that it can come to fruition, if that makes sense. Okay. All right. I hope this reading helps and brings you so much for watching. Take care. All right. Bye.